Thank you, Arabs and non-Arabs alike. Ah, oh, so good to be here. How you guys doing? How you guys feeling? <laughs> Woo! Yeah. My name is Mina, literally. That is not my opening joke. That my name is Mina. And I am actually this thin. Also, <laughs> not a joke. Do we have any really thin people in the audience tonight? Do we have any really? You sir? Well, yeah, I think you're fooling yourself, sir. Anybody, anybody really? Anybody really thin? Yeah. Being thin is weird, man. It's an interesting contrast to being fat, right? Because when you're fat, people have the decency to talk about you behind your back. But when you're thin, people walk right up to you. Right up to you. Tell you they hate you. Not that they hate that you're thin, they hate you. Right to your face. Like, you guys are laughing because you've done it today. I know, I, I was there. I hate you. I hate people like you. Oh, you can eat anything you want. You never lose a pound. I didn't ask for this, guys. Okay? It's so unfair. It's a prejudice. It's like walking up to two random people on the subway, just being like, oh, what do you do, sir? I'm a suicide bomber. What about you? I can eat chocolate cake at midnight. You son of a bitch. <laughs> son of a bitch! Ah, uh, where are my non-Arabs? Where are the non-Arabs tonight? <laughs> Woo! Love the non-Arabs coming out to support the Arabs. I'm learning a lot about non-Arabs living in New York. Uh, I'm learning that they gauge how Arab we are based on the length of our, of our scruff, you know, the little facial hair. Did you ever let your beard go for, sir? You know, you know what I'm talking about. I'm, I'm a little afraid of you. Um, <laughs> you let your scruff go, right? You let your scruff go for a couple days. People, people, white people just come up to you, all these random questions. Random questions. Are you, are you Muslim? Are you Muslim? Like it's something I caught. Are you Muslim? <laughs> And sometimes they don't even know that much about the culture, so they'll just like use random words that they picked up on like CNN or Fox. You know, are you Islam? <laughs> are you Islam? Are you mausoleum? Are you mausoleum? Are, are you Islamabad? Are you Islam? Yes, I'm. I'm Islamabad. I'm the capital of Pakistan. That's what I. That's my religious affiliation. <laughs> Sir, you did it to me earlier. You know. Yeah, that was that was it. Yes, yes, I uh, learned a lot about I'm, I'm actually Egyptian. Are there any Egyptians here? I knew I smelt something. Oof. <laughs> love, love being Egyptian. It's great. I was actually lucky enough to go to Egypt. Uh, any Egyptians? You guys been to Egypt, right? Yeah, you did that mandatory hike. I. Uh, <laughs> Loved Egypt, loved it. Got introduced to all the, uh, the ethnic food that I loved. A lot of interesting, interesting delicacies they have in Egypt. Easy now. Uh, <laughs> sorry, my bottle just did a cameo for us, okay. So a lot of interesting uh, ethnic food they have in Egypt. Uh, primarily, I tried something very interesting called the, the Gibna Rumi. Are you guys familiar with this? Oh good, okay, so you've also survived it, sir. Nice, okay. <laughs> A lot of people ask, it's a, it's a type of cheese. A lot of people ask me, well, Mina, I mean, uh, what's it like? How bad could it be? What's it like? Well, it's kind of like cheddar if you marinated it in a dumpster for about six months. <laughs> it's a little strong. Starts off tasting like brie, finishes like uranium. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know. You know. And I, I went to, eat, I, in Egypt, uh, they smoke. A lot of smoking in Egypt, right? All the Arab countries, right? Where, where, where are my Arab smokers? Yeah. Uh, yeah, so they smoke a lot in Egypt, but you know, in, in a lot of places, smoking is available. In Egypt, it's mandatory. There's a big difference. They don't ask you if you'd like a cigarette. They put it in front of you, and if you don't take it, you're either offensive or a pansy. One of the two. <laughs> After going through four packs by 2 p.m., my friends in Egypt are offering me a cigarette. Here you go, man. No, guys. No, guys, I'm good. I, I've had enough smoking for one day. <laughs> George, my friend. Uh, do you know why you don't want any more cigarettes? Why, George? Because you're an American woman. That's why. <laughs> hey, Samia! Samia, come sit with the men. Uh, Mina will make us the sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, they didn't let his scrotum through customs. <laughs> He's small, he can't, uh, 
They take every opportunity, man. Every opportunity to just, just kill you. A lot of things I learned about Egypt also, that Arabs communicate, they communicate without words, wordlessly. There, there's a couple of expressions that they use that are universal, and everybody kind of knows what they mean, although there's no real, like, solid definition. Okay, we'll try one here. Okay, let me see if you guys know the mood of the room, you know, when an Egyptian makes this noise right here, right? Oh. That's right. So that's right, something's afoot. Dangerous. Dangerous. Right. Here's one the girls use. Here's one the girls use, right? Uh huh. Right. There's something suspicious is happening. Did you hear about Khalid? He bought a new Mercedes Benz. Uh huh. And there's another one. There's another really popular one that nobody can define for me. I even ask people in Egypt to tell me what it means. Nobody knows what it, I mean, NASA's working on it, the FBI, they're trying to figure it out. <laughs> Nobody knows what it means, but every Arab, especially Egyptians, are predisposed to knowing when to use it. <laughs> and that phrase is, of course, a la 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 So I am single. <laughs> Calm down, ladies. I, that's right, ow, indeed, that's right. That's right, ladies, Arab American comedian, I did make almost $31 last month. <laughs> Keep the bras on, okay? Thank you. I am single, I'm single, all right, I am. And do you guys wanna know why? It's my own fault, it's my own fault that I'm single. You know why, you know why? Because I love Arab women. That is why I love Arab women. They're so sexy and passionate and just, just fabulous, you know? They're also a little neurotic and edgy and clinically insane, yeah. They don't tell you, they don't tell you about that. Uh, calm down, guys, okay? Fat, bald, and lives with mama. Take it easy, all right? Just don't get too excited. Oh yeah, yeah, those Arab women are nuts. We're great. Arab women, you gotta admit, ladies, I, I mean, I, I love Arab women. I do have some problems with Arab women, just some problems, you know? Um, few, few issues, you know? It's not that I mind the back hair, it's just... <laughs> just overly, overly emotional. So uh, I'm gonna confess uh, something to you guys. I committed a carnal sin recently. I, uh, don't tell anybody about it. I brought home a white girl recently. <laughs> yeah. It had to be done, it had to be. She was like, she was like an H, it had to be done, you know? Like, it had to happen. So I brought her home and my mom took one look at her and went, That's my time, thank you guys so much. <laughs> 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 <laughs>